All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises on our glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the honor to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone, peace and salutations to the whole free elect, coming at you with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And this is another channel that I'd be tuned in into. Uh, Epic, Economist, right? And he reports a lot of things that be going on around the world and dealing with, you know, the economy. You know, mainly here in the U.S., but the things that goes on and affects, you know, the U.S., you know, that goes into the different supply chains and things of that sort, right? So, as you can see, this is the inflation from July 2020 to July 2021. This goes into the bacon, the beef, the lettuce, the fish, the milk, airfare, gasoline, you know, clothing, hotels, used cars new cars and public transport right what the point is is you see everything starting to skyrocket everything is starting to skyrocket and yet these people that walk around this earth still have this proud mentality not knowing that they are about to be in complete straits these people are about to be in complete straits these people to walk around and this great pride that they have, this lofty, these lofty looks that they give, their proud speech, or well, these same individuals are about to be in straits. These people have no idea what's finna come upon them. If you have uproars of the people in their different countries, right? This addition of men, you have majority of the people here in Babylon are great caught up into entertainment right caught up into folly America which we know is Babylon the Great which we also call Rome 2.0 has people conditioned with the bread and circus act right while things are getting much much worse all right so you see it on the screen and I watched, you know, for, I watched further through the video. Pretty good info. And he's completely right. Things are starting to soar. And people are finna be in desperate, in a desperate need. Right? Let's get this. Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 16. Verse 6, it says, In the congregation of the ungodly shall a fire be kindled, and in a rebellious nation... Wrath is set on fire. And see, this place is built upon what? Ungodliness. Right? Things that pertain to people doing their own will. Right? Not abiding by the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Not taking heed to the men, the servants, the prophets. Okay? The scripture says, I, they have set my counsel at night. And this is going towards, you know, speaking to you Israelites of you disregarding his word. All right. You're, you're the one that's setting you know, the, the council out not because this message, this gospel is for you. Yet you reject it. Now, when we're out on the highways and byways, yeah, we tell the other nations they judgment. We may edify them, edify them on things that, you know, they may ask. You know things where they didn't you know they didn't know right we give them a, their, their judgment we go into prophecy but this word is for you jake this word is for you so let's read that again ecclesiastes chapter 16 verse 6 again it says in the congregation of the ungodly shall a fire be kindled and in a and in a rebellious nation wrath is set on fire and there is no place more rebellious than America, Babylon, and Great. And when you think about it, see these other nations, they get they're getting this rebellious spirit. They're getting that push, that back by who? Babylon and Great. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 51, verse. Seven, it says, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. 
The nations have drunk of our wine, therefore the nations are mad. You see? So all these different nations, they have drunk of the cup of this devil. Right? They have been exploited by this devil. They have, you know, Ehab gave these people this, this cup. And now that now these nations are starting to see what? Their own shame. See, it was it was it was fun for a while. Right? They had their little benefit package for a while. But now it's like what? We threw. We destroyed by uh, behind following your method. There's no benefits to it. Right? It, it's almost like in the same sense of you see how a lot of men are, you know, coming at these females or how they're standing up, even though they don't have the truth, how they're standing up and now saying to the woman, what could you do for me? What could you do for me besides, you know, pleasure? Right? This is what the, this is what all another the mindset that's coming into these other nations of, well, shit, what could you do for me? Right? I, I'm getting these certain benefits, you know, little by little, but it's causing my nation to be in shambles. <laughs> and eventually, this is why these nations are, you know, are eventually all going to turn on Babylon, as the scriptures say. You know, they're going to turn on, because this is why they're mad, but they're going to turn on Babylon. You see? Because they're realizing that this place has nothing for them. Right? They're going to flee into their own country once they get what they need. Well, going back to the point, the book of Sirach, chapter 16, verse 6, it says, And the congregation of the ungodly shall a fire be kindled, and in a rebellious nation, wrath is set on fire. He was not pacified toward the old giants who fell away in the strength of their foolishness, neither spared, this is the point I wanted, neither spared. He the place where Lot sojourned, but abhorred them for their pride. And we know who all came out of we know who came out of Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot, his wife, and his two daughters. But to add, his wife didn't make it because she looked back. Yeah, they was leaving together. But what happened to his wife? She looked back and was turned to a pillar of soap. So we got to be in that same spirit, brothers and sisters. We can't look back because this place is going down. It's going down and it's going down fast. And we, we, don't, have, we don't have time to be looking back. Screw this place. Screw this place and everything about it. This place is a freaking vexation. As the scripture says, how, how it vexed his righteous soul. Speaking of our forefather Lot, it vexed his righteous soul. It's, it's doing the same to us, you know. Doing the same thing to us. Right? Um, so it says, neither spirit he the place where Lot sojourned, but abhorred them, but abhorred them. For the pride, guess what? In America, Babylon the Great is not going to get spared neither. Okay, this place, a sore judgment is about to come upon this place. Right? Further going, I'm going to get something else dealing with that pride. Because that's what's upon these people. <laughs> there we go, right here. Second Ezra, uh, Second Ezra chapter eight verse fifty says, "For many great miseries shall be to them, be done to them, Salak, that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride." And that's what you see: a lot of people walking in great pride. But misery is about to come upon these people. See, you see th these numbers; these are serious numbers. And guess what? The numbers have risen, and it's going to continue to rise. So I said, these people are about to be in straits. These people are about to be in straits. And, and on top of that, the unemployment rate keeps keeps rising. The unemployment rate keeps rising. No more stimulus checks as far as of, of, of now are not being given out. The more the moratorium right now is, is continue to be extended. Because look, they know. 
they know once they end this moratorium that potentially a, a very a, a, a good percentage potentially that all hell is going to break loose because a lot of people do not have the funds to pay their their rent their mortgage or whatever you know uh, they need to pay for uh, to their landlord just a few days ago you had a landlord kill two of his tenants and, uh, and wounded another why because he wasn't getting paid so imagine imagine what's going to take place if they end that moratorium they're going to see a lot of more crime rise with landlords because they not they are not getting their funds and if it's the people that depend on them funds well they're going to feel like that old man felt i'm gonna take matters into my own hands you see so you know this, this this thing is about to this thing is about to be over. This shit is about to be over with. So there ain't no reason for you to walk in this pride as you do. Oh, you know what? Huh. Let's get this. Why is Earth? Huh. Ecclesiastes chapter ten verse nine it says, "Why is oh." Oh my goodness, let's start at seven. Pride is hateful before the most high, and man and both do if one commit iniquity. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one to another. Hey, the scriptures say, Woe to the bloody city, it is full of lies and robbery. So all these ill dealings that he got, he got it all by what? Unrighteous dealings. Okay, and you are starting to see the transition, the transitioning of Esau being the end of the world and Jacob being the beginning of it that followeth. Verse 9. Why is earth and ashes proud? What are you so proud for? You come of the dust of the dust, you're going to return. There is no more wicked thing then a covetous man for such as one set of his own soul to sell because while he liveth he cast away his bowels. But the point is, is why is earth and ashes proud? And this is what Babylon has produced. A, 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 a world full of lost, ungodly, lewd, wicked souls, proud souls. Jake threw. But still running around in this great pride. Well, we're going to see in later days to come of how much pride is still going to continue. Of these smirks and laughs and, you know, static comments. We're going to see how long that lasts. Hey, so continue to pray, brothers and sisters. Continue to hold on. Because this ride is going to get hella bumpy. Shalom.